Now, a 10 News Morning Original. New reporting, first at 6. This is happening today. The effort to help prevent suicides on the Coronado Bridge could get a boost from the California Senate. Yeah, 10 News reporter Jared Aarons in the live center. Jared, local senator trying to get this done as fast as possible. That's right, Senator Ben Hueso told me it's time to get more aggressive in the effort to make this bridge safer. He's asking the Senate to give Caltrans $10 million to make this project a top priority and also put a committee together to keep everything on track. Well, first of all, I was born and raised in this neighborhood, and this bridge has always been a part of my life. Senator Ben Hueso loves the beauty of the Coronado Bridge, but not the danger. It wasn't designed with a lot of safety in mind. Suicides on the bridge have spiked in recent years, averaging 17 a year since 2012. A recently completed feasibility study by Caltrans found 11 options for suicide prevention on the bridge some costing as much as $137 million. Caltrans put these spikes on the bridge in February as a deterrent, but at least three people have jumped since they were installed. Hueso says it's time to find a permanent solution. Because as we're going through this process, people are jumping from the bridge. Hueso's Senate Bill 656 would create a task force of local leaders to oversee the project, keeping it from getting bogged down in red tape. He also sent this letter to the budget committee asking for $10 million in advance funding. We need the money now and, and it helps us do that. Rhonda Haston with the Bridge Suicide Prevention Collaborative says anything that can speed up the process is worth doing. If it takes five or 10 more years, well, that's, you know, you, you could do that math and that's, that's just unacceptable. So we need to get this done as fast as possible to save as many lives as we can. Now, Hueso's bill has an urgency marking on it, which means that if it passes committee this morning, the full Senate will vote on it this afternoon, and then the task force will be created immediately. Caltrans, by the way, told me they do not comment on pending legislation. In the Live Center, Jared Aarons, 10 News. Thank you, Jared. Less than two